Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. And as you can see, I've been busy down here, kind of gathering up some iron today, because I think today we're going to move, uh, try to get off that hill. I had problems with the rover actually rolling away on me and a couple of times. Uh, I did, however, go and get a bunch of ice. Did I leave anything in here? No. I did get uh, a lot of ice, actually. I got about 14,000 units of it, so that is good to go. Uh, we got to get that... Uh, I had to dig another tunnel, as you can see. This was too steep. And some, there you go. It's a little hot. I'm trying to save my jetpack fuel going in and out of there. Yeah, there's a hole here. I should fill those in one of these days. Uh, as you can see, I put a conta big, bigger container on here that actually has 3,300. This is the medium one. This is the same one I put on the base over there, but this is the, the small block variation. And I wasn't... Uh, didn't really understand how the building system works and it, to me it looks like we have a small block grid and a large block grid a uh, small block grid can still have larger blocks that can be offset because I thought I was gonna have to put this like right on the back of the cab put the wheels on all that stuff and I was actually able to put it right on top so that is good uh, a few other things I've done too um, I gotta remember to change I'm gonna turn my wheels on and off all the time oh they're already on never mind uh, I was trying to group those two and I haven't been able to figure that out. I just wouldn't create the group name. But I did make a couple of changes to the world setting. Uh, one of them just happens to be block limits. Yeah, come on, I'm going to be building more than 100,000 blocks. We all know that. So I changed that. Uh, same with uh, block size limit. Uh, it was set to 50,000. So I've got to change that, uh, disable that actually. So that means I'm in experimental mode. Uh, this is where I'm thinking about setting up. It's a nice flat area here. Should be able to get a nice, fair-sized compound going. It's not like we're going to be here all the time. We're going to be, uh, sorry, up there somewhere. And yeah, so that's going to be fun. Like, look, look at the slope this thing's on. It's unbelievable. Uh, I'm not going to park there because I don't want to hit that. But this is actually my second run of iron. I've already gone and made like 600 plates already. So I'm going to put this here, we'll get out, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to get this all this iron refined. Oh. Sorry, I'm still getting used to that. Alright, I got that, plus I got another 6,000 in there, and I've got 600 plates made, and uh, performance might be a little bit better. Uh, I re didn't realize that Steam had installed it on a mechanical drive instead of the solid state that I wanted, so, but... Technically, that's my fault for not actually double checking that. So, that could work out. And the reason why that works out is because uh, I record on my mechanical drive and usually have my yeah, demanding games, I'll call it, on my solid state. I have been messing around with the, the graphics a little bit too. But uh, I've also been looking at it. Apparently, you can find cobalt on the planets, on this planet, anyways. And all you really gotta do is put an ore detector on here. No, I don't know if I have enough to... Oh, i got to make uh, detector parts. I was looking at that earlier. It's all basic stuff. Uh, I think I had to make like 10 of these or something. Oh, we're out of power. Ha ha ha. Uh, can I, oh, I can't access the refinery from here. We'll just shut this off for now. No way to assemble it'll work. And I realized I gotta access it from here. <laughs> Alright, let's see actually see what I needed for that ore detector. Uh, where was it? It was right here. 20 of them. Everything else I should have. So let me get everything together and then I'll throw this on there. Okay, I got everything. Now the question is how big is this thing? Is this gonna be a small block or a big block? No, oh, it's a small block variation. Awesome. Uh, I want to see if I can stick it right in the front here. Right in between there. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Look at it rise up all proud. Okay, this is one thing I don't like, is having to do that all the time. Alright. Oh. oh, sorry. Always 
hitting H for some reason. Alright, so now we're going to the terminal here. Go to the ore detector. Uh, it's only going to go 50 meters. Hmm. About the same as a drill. Uh, apparently a little bit deeper, but apparently. Uh, I guess using it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I gotta turn the wheels on, don't I? No, I don't. But apparently it's about like 40 to 100 meters below the surface, so it's really hard to say where it's gonna be. Uh, I have looked at technologies. I can get hydrogen thrusters going if I really need to. And we can see how it goes from there. But I just wanna boot around a little bit, see if I pick it up anything else I, I didn't pick up before. I'm definitely picking up the signatures longer, about 100 meters, so yeah, this might be definitely it. I have absolutely no idea where it is. Um, I don't know if I mentioned too, I am in the experimental mode, so we might run into a few bugs, but hey, uh, bugs are my specialty. But, yeah, I'm not really picking up anything. Uh, I don't know if it's something that's just for the experiment experimental builder was always there but apparently there are like abandoned ships and stuff we can run across or these encounters uh, there are supposedly wolves and spiders that can spawn I've disabled that just because I'm here to build not to fight hordes of critters all the time and apparently drones too but yeah those just get annoying destroying my stuff while I'm trying to build it but I'm not seeing anything so I gotta admit this thing's got some some pretty good speed and I was uh, checking out the settings too apparently it's only at 60% power right now so apparently the, the, the driving is pretty good but apparently from what I've read in the or seen that it looks like it's a bit of a challenge to try to get speeds higher than 110 meters a second I'm always up for a challenge. Well, I haven't picked anything up. We might have to go exploring one of these days. But what I'm going to do is we're going to... We're not going to do that. We're actually going to go over here. I want to set up a proper landing spot or parking spot for this thing, too. Uh, definitely want to be driving around in this world. This looks fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a... a hell of a lot of plates ready and then uh, bring you back and we'll go start building something well look at that one's way at the top and it's probably not even worth it you probably go touch it and the thing will probably roll all the way down and then I'll end up dying trying to chase it because I run out of jetpack fuel again and again and again anyway I'll be back okay here we go so I got a whole bunch of plates on me I got a whole bunch more and we'll be be right out of them in about five minutes I'm wondering now. Because I want to try to find a flat enough area where I can, you know, expand. I'm not going to have a small little pad. Oh, hell no. Alright, this should be good. So I'll go here. We'll have to uh, switch to the big block mode. Oh, yeah. Wrong game. I'm not going to say anything. Uh, yeah. So I'll just go straight with black on that. I don't think that's actually going to do anything. Oh, it does. Not that it really matters. And saturation. Oh, okay. That's just white and black. Alright, that works. So now... Hmm. Yeah, I'm really wondering, maybe... Let's try going up here a little bit. Oh, don't do that to me. No. Reset, please. Reset. There we go. That's the right key. And make sure I'm on gravity line. Good. And that should be good. Now, I know there is block damage in the game, and I'm trying to avoid any overhangs, because if structural integrity is a thing, it was in med Medieval Engineers. Uh, we are working with steel, but hey, we're talking me here. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to get a nice big pad going, probably... Probably whatever I can afford, so I'll bring you back when I'm done. So why is it a brand, a freshly made block? 
has like wear around the seams like that. That does not make sense at all. How the hell did that happen? I was parked over there, I drove by and the wheel got ripped off. I'm wondering if I hit the hitbox of the wind turbine. Ah, now I have to walk. Kinda sucks. I wonder if I can still drive it. No, without damaging the hell out of it. <laughs> it's scraping on the ground. That's hilarious. Oh, geez, I better well fix this up. I need power cells. Of course, I don't have power cells. Well, as long as it doesn't blow up on me, I'm fine. I'll be fine. I got all the supplies in here. Anyway, uh, one thing I did meant I can't remember if I mentioned it. I set the day cycle to half an hour instead of two hours, just just because uh, it's, it's dark now. But by the time I'm done, it should be uh, nice and bright. Where did I get that scrap from? Do I automatically pick that up? I gotta figure out what to do with that. I think uh, possibly the large um, assembler will be able to do it. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to work. Yeah, it's not too far. All right, so here's what I got right now. I think it's like eight by six or something. Um, it's been mentioned that I should try to get my uh, wind turbines higher, and I think I will because it's two of them, and I can't even do it. I have the refiner and the basic assembler running. If I get the, the big assembler going, I'm not gonna have enough power for that. So I'm gonna go up, and they said about five or six blocks. So we'll probably go six. We'll put six pillars or four pillars, one in each corner, six blocks high. We'll stick uh, one tur turbine on top of each one. And I think I have enough to actually make a few more. I might have to make the parts, but should I have enough. So two, three, four, five, six. And I know I gotta be careful because. Uh, if I'm breaking my rover driving around, I gotta be careful with some of the stuff that I build. I might have to save the good stuff for when we're up there. Right? You know, one of my ideas, I'm already starting to question it now. I don't know how well it's gonna work out with, uh, you know, with uh, block damage. Anyways, uh, let me get these set up. Nice clouds. I'm sorry. Geeking out in the game here. Uh, yeah, let me get these uh, four towers up and then I uh, wanna throw some windmills up. Okay, I am just finishing up the last block right now. So now I'm gonna get down before my jetpack runs out. I've had to fill it up twice already. And that's actually something I want to get going is uh, a generator, or the H202 generator. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on my hotbar. Get that up, and let's see. I want to see if I can actually place it from up down here. Oh yeah, that's right. I can. That wasn't working for me. So let's go up, and I realize I can place them sideways like that if I really wanted to. Oh, I need, yes, I need the interior plates, okay. All right, well, let's go back to the poor buggy. This lousy thing is, unless I can, I guess I could try doing that. Could put a wheel back on by adding some thrusters to it and lifting it up. Alright, so I did have girders. What did I need? I needed uh, those. Alright. Oh. Uh, and I do realize I'm going to have to uh, borrow the other two windmills to put them over here. Okay, so we'll go eight. One there. Oop. Oh. One there. Uh, one. Come on. One there. And of course, one over here. I would be going higher, but I have absolutely no idea what the structural integrity of some of these blocks are. Uh, knowing me, I'd probably want to put it up like 30 meters up, get the best possible wind, but I know that ain't going to happen. Anyways, I'm going to go fill up my jetpack and get the rest of the supplies I need. I'm going to take those two apart and we'll get the windmills built. This has got to be the funnest part about this. <laughs> Just the tools. It really gets you that immersion. Oh, what did I lose? Interior plates and motors. That's fine, because we're going to be using them up in just a minute here. Uh, yo. Oh, there we go. 
hit X twice by mistake. And... Oh, jeez. I forgot to color these things. Hmm. Ow. What color? Oh, we're gonna make them red. Why not? Make them... Nice deep red. Alright, I gotta get blocked through this. Red, you, yes, you are red, you are red, and you are red. Uh, you can't actually hear it, but you hear a little boop when you get it. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but if you look under the circle at the bottom of the hot bar there, you can actually see what color I have chosen there. Go over here, we'll change it to one of the presets, and then you can see the color down below there has changed. Anyway, so that is those windmills. Let's get the rest of them up. Well, you've seen one, you've seen, you've seen, you've seen one, you've seen them all, so I'm going to get that taken care of, and I'll bring you back when it's time to get the rest of this stuff put in. Okay, I got the wind turbines up, I'm just print up a few things here so we can uh, get the assembler set up. I can't actually use that assembler anymore because it has no power. Speaking of power, let's get some light going. Uh, might actually throw a couple of lights up here. Uh, I was thinking about even looking at what it's going to take to get a battery going. Uh, just because, right? Now we've always had some sort of power. I don't no idea how long the battery lasts, but we'll find out eventually. Let's go ahead and I'll put this down here and hmm. Oh, yeah, I keep using the mouse wheel. Hmm. Let's go with an orange. Nice orange. Nice dark orange. Oh, not that. Even a brown. Okay. Now where are we going to put this? Let's put it over here. Uh, I hate that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, let's try it again. Six. And there we go. There we go. Sorry. I'm trying to get this piece in the right way. Not that it really matters, but she has to be safe. I'm actually curious now to see what those wind turbines are generating. Alright, so, let's see here. 240. It's actually really good. Uh, I'm generating about 1.2, about a megawatt right now. Perfect. So that's going to keep this thing going, that's going to keep the refinery going, and all the good stuff. Let's see what I have for inventory space. Sure. Let's go grab the refiner, <laughs> refinery. We gotta get the H two O two generator going. Um, there's also talks too about messing with this thing here. It could cause other other things to disappear. Uh, I'm not exactly 100% sure on the details on that, but we'll see what happens. And do -do. Okay, and we, that is done. Might as well grab some of these while we're at it. Bloody things are expensive. And there we go. Inventory full. Okay, well, let's stick something in here that I don't need. Uh, hmm. Let's throw some plates in there. Why not? Uh, what did I drop? There it is. Okay, let's so get the refinery and uh, the H2O2 generator going. So got all, I got all that ice and storage and I want to start refining it. I'm also going to make myself a bottle too, or a couple of bottles. Or at least a hydrogen bottle so I can use my jetpack whenever I want and not have to worry about running out of fuel and hitting, hitting the ground like a ton of bricks. Okay, what am I looking for here? I am looking for uh, a basic refinery. The uh, best thing about being cl here is we're actually closer to the mine. And I'm going to put that one right there. So I'll fill that in. I'm not going to have enough plates to do this. Of course not, because I dumped them off 
in the <laughs> in the other assembler. All right, well that's going to be the refiner there. Uh, what else we got? The H2O2 generator, which was somewhere in here. I don't know why it's showing two of them. But anyways, we're going to build that. And we'll put this one on this side here. And I need steel plates. Anyways, uh, let me get this taken care of and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just finishing up. Now I had to go salvage a few more blocks for uh, plates. So I got the refinery done. This is the H2O2 generator here. Construct your components. Ugh. Do I have anything in here? No, I do not. Excuse me. Okay, I got that last one. I grabbed some ice too so we can get this thing up and running. I gotta admit, those windows look really cool up there. And from a distance, it's almost like a flame effect. Ugh, oh, I thought I had enough. Well, I actually brought the iron with me, so that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and make them here. So now I have to run all the way back over there, and all the way back over here, and all the way back over there, and yada yada yada. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that in there. It's all I can carry with me. Uh, can I make the bottle in here? I can. Silicon and nickel. I actually have those. I could probably get them from here too, but I want to have a make a couple of spares just in case. Uh, where was it? Silicon and nickel. Uh, it's actually something I'm short on as a silicon, but uh, we got a huge deposit over here somewhere. Might have to go take that, take that up and see what we can do with it. It was also like I've been going through the block catalog and I'm looking at some of the different things that they have. Why did this end up being black? Oh yeah, because I did that. Uh, let's actually change that. Do this, we'll do uh, Shift P and middle click, and you're done. So simple. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, we gotta get. Actually, can I make the bottles in here? You'd think you'd be able to. Probably not. Oh, you can too, okay. Uh, I was gonna say something, I can't remember what I was talking about now. Anyway, uh, so I'll make one of those, make one of those. Then we can get those into machine there and then I can survive all right we're going oh that's uh, the wrong machine you know what I should color code these that filled that up really quick and I think I remember when I the very first time I played I was you started with one of these in in the one that I was in anyways and uh, yeah, it's almost like you can fill up your jetpack like eight times with it or something. Uh, and to avoid some confusion here, I'm going to change some colors. Uh, we got the old P button. Uh, the refinery. I think the refinery should be orange. Like a nice bright orange. Uh, yeah, that's the slider right there. That's actually right there. Nice fire orange. Okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. And then for here, we're going to go blue on this one. Go blue, go a little on the lighter side, maybe. And that way, I can mix, don't get some, the machi machines mixed up because they might start to look the same. But uh, once I get conveyor systems going will be good to go all right so that is that what else do i have on me uh i gotta get a storage up here get some more ice going uh what else do i want to build oh yeah get a battery on here why not oh that's not available on the large block is it let's try it anyways yeah i didn't think so all right, well, it's, uh, oh yeah, it's a big battery. 20 power cells. You know, I think I can actually build this. That's actually a big battery. I know, you probably heard that mouse wheel click again. Okay. For me, power stuff always has to be red. Yeah, we got a nice deep red like so. 
and we're gonna actually stick hide this right behind that. Yes, the basic assembler. And uh, construction components, so let me get this finished up. Alright, I got enough. It took me a little while to grind it all out, but I got it. Needless to say, I'm just about out of iron, but that's fine because iron's just over there. Not too far away. So I'm assuming the lights to determine how much power it actually has. Uh, let's actually access this and see if it says anything. Uh, 3 megawatts. That's not too bad. It is slowly charging too. Fully charged in two hours. There you go, it actually tells us how much the the windmills are actually generating. So that is cool. It's actually using three kilo, three kilowatts right now. I know this isn't running. And this isn't technically running. Even though it's got that. Can I not actually fill up from here? Or is that only the survival thing? I think, think so. And then a refinery. Alright, well, there is that. Uh, let me check to see how the recording's doing. Alright, just about time to call the episode. Um, whose energy is that? Is that mine or.? Oh, yeah, that's mine because I still got my stupid light on. Uh, but we're going to do one more thing before we end this. Uh, I was going to. I did want to mess around with the windows and try to look at that, but we're going to have to get some serious amount of silicone to start making those. I was sort of want to possibly glass this place in. But what we're going to do before, before we end the episode here is we're going to actually check something out. We're going to check out this. Well, that's definitely a wide screen. I like how it actually tells you which way is up. I thought it was going to be bigger than this. I think that'll be fine. We'll do it right there. If I can reach. And there we go. Okay, well done to DCP Labs. Okay. Uh, what's going on here? Do I have to access this through a terminal? Okay. Font. Font size. Ooh. Did that do anything? No, it just says online. I'm sure I'm missing something. I probably have to have a programmable block or something for this. Let me just one more little peek at this and then we'll end it. Ooh, that's cool. Kind of textures, uh, construction. I must be missing something. It's fully complete. Oh well, I'll have to look at that and figure it out. I'm sure somebody's going to help me out in the comments. But, anyways, I think I'm going to call the episode here. I uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.